If I could describe to get my life tour in one word, it would be vulnerability. Showing up for yourself is so important. Welcome to the Get My Life Tour. I'm your host, Lydia T. Blanca. Hey y'all and welcome to the Get My Life Tour. It is me, your host, Lydia T. Blanco. And as always, I'm hype. I am so excited that you are here on this stop of the tour. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My goodness, the fact that you took advantage of the free admission to show up for yourself and tune in is incredible. Thank you for being here. And if you've tuned in before, I'm always overjoyed when you show up again. Ah, look, you know, I was thinking about what it is that I wanted to share. And honestly, this is going to be quite a short and sweet stop on to get my life tour because I'm still processing it a bit, but I also just have so many things I'm excited to be doing, right? I'm actually planning for a birthday. You know, happy birthday to me in advance, okay? I am, <laughs> you know, just navigating my lifestyle, right? Living my life, being present here on the West Coast as I plan for the East Coast and just being present and available to my family and friends. So I won't keep you long, but you know, what I want to share is quite sensitive for me. I've been kind of sensitive and emotional lately. You know, I think as I transition to this new chapter in my life, right, I'm starting a new year um, next month and I'm just taking inventory, reflecting on a lot, being still, not speaking as much, not sharing as much. And, um, I'm just like a little emotional, okay? But look, today I want to keep it entirely a thousand with you. And I was thinking about the idea of not everyone being able to go with you. And I was like, okay, we talk about that a lot. I hear it. I feel it on deeper levels when I have certain experiences and it's put into perspective for me. But then I thought about the flip side of that. And for me, it's the reality that when you are called, when you are set apart, when you are on assignment, you can't participate in everything. And there are so many of us who have felt that, who have experienced that better yet. And I'm just now putting it into words. Right. I've always had this discernment about what it was that I would engage in, who I would engage in things with. But recently it has really come down to this. Right. Because I've been set apart. There are just things I cannot participate in. I don't have fun the same way that other people have fun. I don't enjoy certain forms of entertainment. I'm not dry though, y'all. I can turn up and have a good time. Like I am a vibe, right? And I always ask people after hearing um, Winter Patterson saying this, you know, you want to have a good time or you want to have the time of your mother in life, okay? And so, you know, I would categorize myself as <laughs> the latter, but... In all seriousness, you cannot participate in everything when you are called. And I've realized that that looks like not being connected to the same people for a lifetime, right? Sometimes we have a default setting and it's a loyalty or longevity and it's not what best serves us so relationally I'm just like oh I guess I can't participate that's what that looks like oh my goodness that doesn't even look like me I don't even look like I fit into that picture right beyond 
the aesthetic, right? Being able to see beyond the aesthetic, seeing things with your, your, your divine eyes, right? Knowing like, mm, yeah, that's really not a vibe. Yeah. It's really not what it looks like. And just in other areas of my life as well, realizing who I cannot be connected to. There are incredible people on this earth who are doing great things, but it's just not meant for us to collaborate. I have, <laughs> I've met some people, I've followed some people, I've connected with some individuals and I'm like, oh, it would be so, mm. you know what? It didn't happen for a reason. It fall through, it fell through, excuse me, the cracks for a reason. Alignment is so important. And I think we hear about it often, but we don't fully understand what that is. And so, oh, here's the dictionary um, definition from the New Oxford American Dictionary. An arrangement in a straight line or in correct or appropriate relative positions, a position of agreement or alliance. Look, I'm going to just read that one more time. Alignment, a noun, arrangement in a straight line or in a correct or appropriate relative position, a position of agreement or alliance. Look, I keep saying, look, that's, that's how you know I'm really into it. I'm like, look, okay. I don't know how many O's that is, but like, look. That's good. A position of agreement or alliance. My alliances with others mean so much to me. And most importantly, I want to be in alignment with the most high. I want to be able to be in the right position, not only to receive, but to be corrected, to be in a position to be able to give and be a resource to others. And a lot of times, certain relationships or spaces actually mm, distort that, right? It interrupts the process of really being one. I really believe in healthy discourse, but I also have this understanding that we create a lot of the situations that we're in. We are partly responsible for manufacturing discourse. Now, like I started off the sentence by saying, I do believe in healthy discourse, but when we aren't in positions of agreement, it shows up in so many ways in our lives. And at times I feel like you can see it on people, Right. Oh, you knew you shouldn't have been in uh, you. And trust me, trust me. OK, hello. Is this thing on? Trust me. I know I have been there. And now I really have this understanding through experience that there are certain ways that I cannot participate. The Get My Life Tour is about showing up. Right. But there are some spaces that we have to to, to discern like, mm, you know what? There is no way that I can take center stage in that arena. There is no way. Right. Because it's not a line. I'm thinking about seeing an unleveled surface. Right. And then standing on that unleveled surface. The foundation is weak. It's like a chair that's rocking to the side or front and back and you need something to put it under there. And at times it's like some things don't need to be fixed. You just need to get off of it because it's broken. Right. And I think that when we are called, when we are set apart and we choose to participate in things, um, in places um, with people, right? 
that are unfitting. It kind of looks like we're we're standing on those shaky stages, right? In arenas that we do not belong in. You know, I want to stick on relationships a bit because for so long I read into mm, invitations that were not extended to me, right? So in other words, I read into or I took personally not being invited into certain spaces, right? Or having the experience of being invited and being treated as if I wasn't welcome. And I want to talk about this because I really feel like someone needs to hear this. There's so much transition going on around us. A lot of people are trying to navigate relationships. Outside is opening. People are reconnecting. Some of us haven't been in the same spaces as our acquaintances. Why did I say that wrong? Acquaintances, um, friends, close friends, family members, whomever. And so invitations are starting to be extended and there are going to be some things that we naturally are not invited to. And so for the first part of this, I want to tell you not to be offended if there is somewhere that you do not get invited or you receive an invitation and then the invitation is rescinded. And I say this because sometimes the energy of where it is that you were being invited to is not fitting for you. Or there's certain experiences that you weren't meant to have with certain people, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. I'd rather you be uninvited or not invited at all. And you have whatever experience you're supposed to have than to enter a space and feel unwelcomed, right? I have had a number of invitations extended to me. I've been kicked out of weddings. I've been told what is best for me um, by people who love me. And there is nothing wrong with that, right? People do things based on how they know how best to do them so You can't be offended by everything, right? But just know that some things do happen for a reason. Think of the way that you've experienced people and how you prefer to experience them. And then ways in which people feel uncomfortable with you experiencing them that way, right? In healthy relationships, there has to be, you know, that nice song and dance. Now, every dance is not going to feel good, especially when you don't know all the moves. Okay. That two step looking like a three step or you off beat. (laughs) What is going on? Right. But sometimes those things have to happen. They have to happen. Um, either for preservation purposes or so that you can know, you know what? Um, okay. I get it. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And keep it moving. Okay. So we talked about being invited, having the invite taken back for whatever reason, or, and, you know, people being in one space together. The second part of this, honestly, is you not receiving an invitation at all. Okay. Now, there was a stop on the tour earlier in season three where I spoke about really adding value and honoring each invitation that is extended to you. Have you ever had the thought, I am so glad that I was not invited? (laughs) I have had that thought so many times or I wasn't in a position to participate, right? But sometimes it is not meant for you to go. Let's go back to that. Everybody can go. Sometimes it's you, okay? Sometimes it is you who cannot go because you are operating at a different frequency than other people who might potentially be in the room, right? I am someone who thinks very strategically about invitations. This is the second year I'm celebrating my birthday on the West Coast, just given the pandemic. And this year, I had to tell people, no kids allowed. I got eye rolls. 
I also wanted to extend the invitation for a number of people from the East Coast to come to the West Coast, but I know everyone's still not comfortable with traveling. And then there are some people who I just did not invite at all because I'm thinking about the people who I invited and I'm like, okay, well, this makes sense. Well, I'll have to think about that and mm, I'm not sure. And okay, well, and actually, and so I'm doing I'm not going to give it away because this is clearly airing before the party, but there are certain things that I'm doing, certain strategies that I'm implementing, even when it comes to, to seating. Okay. The song selection, food, this, that, and a third, I'm thinking about who I'm inviting into the space, that energy. I'm also thinking about the people who cannot participate for one reason or another. And it's not because I don't want them there. It's because they are not able to participate on this level. And that's not to say, oh, this is only reserved for the who's who, this, that, and the third. But we have to be very selective with invitations. And sometimes it is you who cannot go because of where you are. Not who you are, but where you are. Which leads me to my next point. Oh, y'all about to hear me take this deep breath, okay? There it is. In this season, I strongly believe that there is going to be a continuance of shifting. And so as people are weathering their own storms, coming out of whatever they've been going through. And honestly, there will be some of us who are still trying to figure it out. We have to know who it is that we can lean on, right? So I'll say this. It'll be essential in this season to discern who it is that you can lean on for support. It will also be critical to know who you can't share information with or go the distance with. And it's also very important to be mindful of what you share and how you connect with people. That's all I'm going to say on that. I would love to go deeper, but look, I am not your therapist. I am not qualified to give you that kind of information. Um, and I, I just want to be as mindful and sensitive as possible uh, when sharing, right? Because I am speaking from my own experience. And while I have diverse experiences, I don't speak for everyone, right? Not everything applies, but maybe there are conversations that you've been having in your friends group and your, with your families, with whomever. And you're like, hmm, yeah, because then take it, you know what I'm saying? And, and apply what best suits you. But honestly, I feel it. I see it. And I think a lot of us have seen it, honestly, right? We've spent the time um, with who we are going to spend more time with. And proximity means this to this person, and that to the next. Those who are going to make sacrifices probably already made them, right? And a lot of people have made up their mind. They have chosen. And so... While this has been over a year of uncertainty, I think there is a clarity that a lot of people have been able to experience and a lot of people have chosen up and there are going to be people who do not choose you and you have to be okay with that because when you are set apart, you cannot participate in the same way as everyone else. So maybe them choosing what was best for them is what is best for you because sometimes we don't even have the capacity the spiritual maturity or whatever it is right the wherewithal to make those decisions for ourselves and so somewhere along the lines they are made for us mm. Look, you know what? That's that's all I have for you on this top of the tour. I told you I didn't want it to be long. And 
I'm gonna keep my word with that. All right, I'm officially ready to drop the mic. And here it is. In this season, be mindful of what you have outgrown. I don't say that to be competitive or comparative. It is personal. Be mindful of what you have outgrown. There are going to be things that look crazy on you. There are going to be spaces if we're, if you show up, you going to look, mm, you're going to look bad. Okay. I'm not, I'm just going to say bad for lack of better words. And there are going to be some things that you cannot participate in because people are going to wonder why are you here? So be mindful of what you have outgrown and continue to show up for yourself. Okay. Look, I really hope that this short and sweet stop here on the Get My Life Tour has been helpful. If so, let me know. Leave a review, comment, like, subscribe, download this episode wherever it is that you listen to podcasts. Visit the Get My Life Tour.com. Be sure to connect on social media at the Get My Life Tour at Get My Life Tour on Twitter. And if you'd like to stay connected with me as I share more lifestyle content in my work journalistically, be sure to visit Lydia T. Blanco.com or connect with me on social platforms at Lydia T. Blanco. Look. I cannot tell you how much I truly appreciate being on tour with you. How you live your life is your business. And I do not mind living it with you. Until the next time, I will see you right back here at Center Stage. It has been real. Peace. Peace.